Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Mount Dirkling. Now, um, since I've removed the RMC uh, from all around this part, I'm left here with kind of an awkward space to fill. Um, so we have a bit of open space here and a bit of space here. And yeah, I've been struggling a bit to uh, get something here that, uh, that looks nice. But I think I've come up with something. I can probably fit a nice uh, junior boomerang here. Uh, so it would probably be a spike lifting it up backwards here. Uh, and probably a bit of a tunnel under here. And maybe a bit of a spiral. And then here would be the other spike after which it uh, returns back to the station. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Um, also I think this area here needs some uh, improvement for the, for the train station. But yeah. Um, I'm just going to be uh, working a bit on uh, this area over here in this episode. Now, the thing I'm going to start with is uh, just to uh, move this, uh, these rails a bit more to the cliff side. And that should also uh, give me some more space to work with for the coaster. Now, when I make a... Uh, Fikoma Junior Boomerang, I usually go for the looping coaster track uh, first off because it allows banked curves uh, and I like using those and secondly it uh, looks more like the Fikoma track that they use nowadays and the kind of vehicle that I typically use is the articulated wooden coaster uh, uh, trains because they uh, look also look most like the Fikoma Junior Boomerang trains. All right, I'm kind of happy with this uh, layout. Now, one thing I noticed um, is that actually on the way back, it crawls over this hill very slowly. So what I'm tempted to do is uh, to add a little bit of chain lift here. Just to, uh, uh, oh wait, <laughs> I just realized that uh, it won't actually work with the uh, reverse incline launch mode since forward uh, chain lifts so don't work. So uh, I'll have to uh, rethink uh, this. I have noticed that the coaster doesn't really uh, make it over that this hill very uh, very fast from going backwards. So uh, yeah, I first wanted to put a little chain lift piece here and then uh, merge it so that uh, yeah it gets lifted up here by the chain lift and then uh, gets released backwards. I made a tutorial once on how to do that. But yeah, then I realized it's in reverse incline launch mode and when it's in reverse incline launch mode uh, forward chain lifts uh, don't function. So what I'm doing instead is uh, I put a little booster here and that uh, will actually give it a little boost further up the, this spine and that also makes sure that it will have enough speed when uh, going backwards. Because when it goes backwards it will just ignore the booster. But since it made it uh, further up the hill it will have uh, more energy uh, to, uh, yeah, to make it uh, back to the station. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this layout, so now I'm just going to give it a nice color and also do the landscaping around it. And of course, it also needs a nice uh, station building.
All right, um, I've just overlaid some track here over these boosters uh, just to hide them. And also here at the back of the station, um, yeah, I kind of want this station to have drive tires instead of this uh, lift hill that the uh, looping coaster provides. So I just uh, overlaid some uh, some of that classic junior coaster track and that allowed me to, uh, to have these in this place. So just going to try and make uh, some supports visible here and then I'm happy with uh, this part and then I can start working on the station. Also quite happy with how the landscaping is uh, progressing here. I uh, kind of wanted to have like a, yeah, a landscape like this sort of uh, uh, sort of looks like a staircase or something. <laughs> yeah, I thought this looked kind of cool. Um, I also used that kind of structure here. I think it works really well um, to give some structure to this uh, snowy landscape. Okay, I think this is, uh, has become a really nice addition to the park and I'm uh, really happy I managed to fill up this uh, awkward spot here. Yeah, this, uh, I think this coaster layout looks uh, looks really nice here and uh, pretty natural as well. I especially like this uh, little spike here at the end with this weird uh, curve in it. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with this, uh, with this ride. So yeah, the park's filling up more and more. Um, not really uh, a lot of empty spaces left. Um, there's just this uh, part here, which I really need to uh, finish. 
So quite some work uh, to be done here, especially here on the mountain. And after that, it's mostly just uh, fixing up the map edges. I uh, might be able to uh, make something cool here in the corner. Uh, but uh, for the rest, it's just tidying up these edges. And then after that, uh, there will probably be a few episodes where I'm just uh, tidying up uh, spots inside the park. So some cliff edges to do, uh, probably some paths to make nicer, etc, etc. There's lots of uh, detailing left. But I think I've uh, um, placed all the attractions I want in the park. Perhaps uh, I could still uh, put something here. But that will be something for our next episode. Okay, um, for the rest of the episode I think it will be fun to take a ride on this coaster. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me build and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later! Now, before I finish the episode, um, of course, uh, I need to thank another one of my patrons. So uh, I'll just prepare a spot here for one. And let's put down an entertainer. Here we go. So yeah, we'll put a patron right here in the center of this uh, spiral here of this new coaster. And the name of the entertainer will be Photopia. So yeah, Photopia has been a patron for quite a while now, and I really want to thank her. So I hope she enjoys this uh, spot here in the, in the park. Now I'll make her a tiger, because uh, she made a park called Save the Tigers. I think she'll uh, like uh, being one. Okay, let me just quickly make these parts invisible. So yeah, once again, uh, thanks uh, to all my patrons. Uh, really means, uh, your support really means a lot to me. Alright, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later! <laughs>